Hey, what's up guys? Every morning I go through a whole series of scale exercises as part of my warm-up and it also helps me to just stay connected to where the information is in various keys and scales and tonalities. And um, I have a few common sequences that I do and but I also create new ones every day to kind of keep it fresh and interesting and you know opening up different perspectives and I wanted to just go ahead and show you guys one or two scale sequences that I use and thought might be helpful for you guys um, it's a way of looking at the scales going up and down the neck in this kind of fashion and um, so I always start off really slow. In fact, all of these scale sequences I do, I do very, very slowly. Again, just as part of my warming up. I'm kind of beyond, or not beyond, but I don't really practice scales in a sequential or pattern way in, a, in part of my more dedicated or more um, focused part of my practicing. This is just stuff I, <clears throat> I do as a warm up. So check it out. Um, I have this E, I don't know if you guys can hear it, uh, this E droning. And basically I'm gonna show you a couple sequences in E Aeolian, or also known as the E natural minor scale. And, um, but really you can, you know, you could do these kind of sequences in any key, in any tonality scale, whatever you wanna check out. Like I said, I mix it up every day. Um, I, I'll, I'll do E Aeolian, plus G mixolydian, um, A flat melodic minor, you know, I'll, I'll go through all, pretty much whatever um, scale I can think of. And um, yeah, so here it is, so check it out. Um, this first one, I'm gonna show you it without involving open strings yet. I'm just gonna show you the, the sequence right here. So I'm gonna start with my third finger on this F sharp. And the sequence is this. Okay, so that's so two major thirds, and then I think that's what I did there. So so that last part is going from here down a fifth. So this is also really good for just introducing your fingers and your ears to intervallic kind of skips. So here's here's that sequence going all the way up an octave, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and start uh, in this position using the open string, so check it out. I run out of frets here because unfortunately G Gibson ES-175s um, end at the 20th fret. So I'd imagine most of you guys have 21 or 22 frets on your guitar, maybe some of you have 24. So I would go all the way up to the highest position. And very often what I would do from there is go to the next string set. So that was based on three strings. So then I would move up to the next three strings and then go down. I would repeat that same process by going up to the next three strings, go all the way up, next three strings, all the way down. So this sequence is obviously based on three strings, but you can create sequences that are just on one string. You know, it could just be... And 
you know, any two, three, you could even create a four, you can create a six string sequence if you wanted to. Um, in fact, I have some of those, which I'll probably share with you guys uh, in future lessons. But with this lesson, I just wanted to show you the idea of scale sequences and how I think they're really useful to uh, explore. And like I said, it's part of my warming up and I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna actually dedicate a whole lesson about warming up because I think warming up is a really, really uh, helpful and potentially critical part of your um, guitar playing and sort of the longevity of your guitar playing. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get into warming up um, in a future lesson, but this right here, I would recommend um, you know incorporating into your, your daily routine. Um, let me show you another sequence, um, which by the way, I would recommend, you know, try to come up with your own sequences and, um, you know, just come up with stuff that you maybe wouldn't normally play or think of. So here's, um, here's another one. Uh, this one goes like this. Um, um, yeah, that's it. So what I'm doing there is going on one string, go to the next string, and then so it's okay. So I would just take that and do it everywhere that's possible on my guitar. same thing so then I would go to the next three strings go all the way down so on and so forth and um, I'll do that at different tempos and I'll do it um, I think let's see I do it at like seven or eight different tempos and um, yeah so maybe you guys maybe you guys can check that out and let me know what you think if you have any questions or thoughts you'd like to share please leave them in the comment section um, Oh, and I also wanted to mention um, that drone I had going there. That's with this freeze pedal I recently got. I have a uh, video on that on the channel if you want to check it out. Just talking about the pedal. And that's a recent um, sort of part of my warming up and my practicing in general. Is to have the root of whatever key I'm checking out just droning. And that way you can really get the flavor of the scale or tonality in your ear. And... I just think that helps to get you more connected to it because that's what we're trying to do with the stuff. And um, by doing the sequence like this, it's hard to have a reference in your ear as to what each of these colors sounds like in the key. So I just find it really useful to have a, a drone happening. So that's maybe something to consider is to figure out how to have some sort of drone. Not necessary. For years I didn't have that happening in my warming up, but um, it could just be a nice way to kind of hear the overall context of the tonality. All right, guys. I hope you found this helpful and potentially maybe even entertaining. Uh, all right, guys. I'll talk to you in a lesson to come.